Hey there, Van Again Netics. It's Ken Wilford here at Van Again. I want to talk to you guys today about the 2.1 liter Vanagon idle control unit. So there are two units on the motor that control your idle. They work together as a team to keep the idle smooth and keep it from doing the up and down thing. You've got your idle stabilizer control valve, okay, here on the top of the engine. And then you also have your idle stabilizer control unit. You can see I've got a little stack of them sitting here. Um, they're actually located behind this tail light on the passenger side. If you look up in there, you can see it right back here. It's on a little plastic stand. You just reach back up in here, pull up on it, get it off of the, releases it from the stand, and then you can pull it right out here, right where you can get to it. Okay, now there were two versions of these. You can see this one uh, says 251907393B as in boy. And let's see. And then this one, if you can kind of read it, it has a D at the end. They're interchangeable. Okay. As long as it's a 2.1, uh, you know, 86 to 92, you can interchange these, the B and the D version. There was some kind of revision, but it doesn't really affect how it works. So, why would you be interested in this? So, people have issues with the idle fluctuating up and down. Okay. Uh, normally, my first check of this would be to check this throttle position switch here on your throttle. You can hear that little clicking noise when it's at idle. Also, at full throttle. That's what you want to hear when it's at idle position. It wants to click. Okay. That is sending a signal to this unit that it's at idle and it will stabilize the idle um, so that's my first check i do if that is clicking then i may do an electrical test on it there's a plug right here this white looking thing you can unplug a fuel injection thing from it and you can test it electrically with a meter to see is it working i did a whole video on that i don't want to go rehash that too much so if that's clicking okay then Another ch test is to go up and put the key in the ignition. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And then when you turn the key to just the on position, the idle stabilizer control valve is supposed to vibrate. Okay, and that's how it controls the idle air. It actually... Um, vibrates this electrical solenoid thing at a certain frequency that allows you know the idle stuffing things to like the amount of air to go through here so you have you know, this is actually hooked to the air intake right here and inside here is like a a little solenoid that is actually oscillating you know, so many times a second, according to what this idle control unit is telling it to do, okay? Um, and that is, you know, changing how much air is getting, is bypassing, right, to through this hose here to your intake boot, and that actually will raise your idle, okay? So, I don't know if you can hear it, but this is vibrating, okay? That means that this unit is working properly, that means that this switch is working properly. That means that this unit here is working properly. Okay. And that should uh, keep the idle at the proper level. Now, there's a couple other pieces that are also involved in this. Down here on your um, power steering pump, you have this right here, which is a power steering idle up switch. Okay, so the unit takes the input from this. When you turn your steering full chock, it will also, you know, raise your idle to keep the engine from stalling. Um, it also takes a reading from over here, the temp sensor for the fuel injection. Um, and when the car is cold, on a cold start, it's also going to raise the idle for a while until the car gets warmed up. Okay, so you've got these different sensor things. That's why it has to have its own little control box right here 
to look at these different sensors, the switch here, the temp sensor, this switch here. It also has an input for the uh, air conditioning. Okay, so when you turn on the air conditioning, it's going to raise your idle a little bit also to keep the engine from stalling when you're at a light, taking off from a light and that kind of stuff. So I hope that kind of answers some of your questions. Um, so say, well, what if this thing doesn't hum or buzz? Okay, well, then most likely in my experience, the problem is actually with this unit here. Okay, these units, you can see where it's living here behind this tail light. There's actually like rain and stuff coming in through this uh, vent right here. And it just basically can go right down on it. Um, and yeah, it'll just like see how dirty it is and dusty. Like dust and dirt is getting on it. Rain and moisture is getting on it. I mean, it's actually kind of surprising how good it does. They get hot. They get burnt. So I mean, all kinds of stuff. Um can make them go bad. They're old, they're getting old, okay? So here at Van again, we offer a service where we have them rebuilt by a professional rebuilder. We give a warranty on them, uh, you know. So I would say if this is not vibrating, this is a possible culprit here. I would replace this first. And then if that's still not doing it, then I would replace this because these do go bad, but it's very much less likely okay uh, again these things there's not a whole lot to them they can go bad they can burn out but it's not as common as the idle control unit so uh, if you have any questions on this please send us a comment uh, please like share subscribe let us know if there's something else here in the engine bay that you want to talk about and learn about but that is pretty much the whole description of the Vanagon idle control system and kind of how to troubleshoot it. Um, again, if you, if this is working properly, if this seems to be working properly and you're still having this oscillating idle, then the next thing I would do is unplug this electrically here. Like let the car warm up, unplug this. Okay, that means that's not actually doing anything. And see if you still have the oscillating up and down idle. And if you do, then most likely it is a vacuum leak of some description in the intake here, okay? That's kind of like your final possibility of what it is, okay? So please like, share, subscribe to this video. Let us know what you think in the comments. And we will see you guys on the next one.